We've had a result in from Putney. This is in southwest London. Let's see it. I, Jane Cooper, being the returning officer at the election of a Member of Parliament for the Putney constituency held on Thursday the 12th of December 2019, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Fleur Anderson, Labour Party, 22,780. <laughs> Thank you. Fer Fer Fergal Joseph McKenzie, Green Party, 1,133. Will Sweet, the Conservative Party candidate, 18,006. Sue Wixley, Liberal Democrats, don't know if anybody heard that, Sue Wixley, Liberal Democrats, 8,548. <laughs> the total number of ballot papers rejected as follows. Want of official mark, zil, nil. Voting for more candidates than voter was entitled to 21. So there's the result in from Putney. Right. Justine Greening, who's standing down as the MP, who was with us earlier, um, and uh, she's the Conservative uh, former MP, former Education Secretary. Well, her successor, Will Sweet, the Conservative, has been defeated, and Labour has gained Putney. So this is uh, a rare success story for Labour this evening, and this, of course, will open up the whole debate about mm -hmm. Remain and Leave areas, because Putney, of course, in an area which was strongly Remain back in 2016, 45% to Labour, 36% to the Tories. Labour up by 4% in Putney and the Conservatives down by 8%. The Lib Dems as well up by 5%. Uh, that reflecting again the, uh, the result there in 2016 probably. The swing, well let's have a look at it. It's a swing from Conservative to Labour. We haven't seen that, have we, much? Uh, it's 6.4%. Um, I also want to tell you about Angus because that result is in. Um, and this is a gain for the SNP uh, from the Conservatives. Look at this. Uh, Dave Dugan taking 21,000 votes. Uh, Kirstine Hare taking 17,000 for the Conservatives. A majority of 3,795. And a turnout of 68%, 49% of the vote to the SNP, 40% to the Tories. The SNP up 11 percentage points. The Tories down five. And a 7.7% swing to the SNP from the Conservatives. Laura? Well, just with both of those results, a reminder that, you know, this is not going to be all plain sailing for the Conservatives, both in terms of London. The Conservatives mm -hmm. might have a very tricky night in London and some of those remain tending seats in the South East. They may well lose in quite a few places. And also, depending on how much the SNP tighten their grip, the Scottish Conservatives Reed. may be really, really cut back from that 13 they managed to achieve in, in 2017. And in both of those ways, Boris Johnson may well end up with a thumping majority, but he might be taking over a very divided map yeah. with Scotland almost all yellow yeah. for the SNP. London and perhaps some of our other big cities, inner Birmingham, inner Manchester, inner Liverpool, very, very, very much still coloured red. Yeah. Governing with a real patchwork like that may well not be straightforward. Not straightforward at all. Uh, Laura, thanks. Um, 